Hello everyone, myself Ankur Patel and today in this session we are going to discuss about two topics. So in the first topic we will discuss what is engineering graphics and in the second topic we will discuss applications of different drawing instruments. So let's start with the first topic. What is engineering graphics? So in simple words we can say that Engineering graphics is known as the language of engineers involved in engineering activities. Now, a question will arise in your mind that why it is known as language of engineers or why engineering graphics is known as language of engineers. So, before understanding this statement, let us discuss about the language. That is, what is language? So, all of you know that a language is a medium of communication. Now, why engineering graphics is known as language of engineers? Because in the field of engineering, the product related ideas are recorded in terms of drawing. And the execution of work is also carried out on basis of these drawings. So, in the field of engineering, engineering drawing is used as the medium of communication. That why engineering graphics is known as language of engineers. Now, let us move on to next topic. Applications of different drawing instruments used in engineering drawing. So, here we have represented different drawing instruments used in engineering drawing. So, first is pencils, eraser, scale, protector, roller seal, compass, circle master, set squares, French curves, drawing board and drawing clips. So, now let us discuss about the pencils or drawing pencils. So, in engineering graphics, we are using different grades of pencils like hard grade pencils and soft grade pencils. So, here the F, H types of pencils are known as the hard grade pencils and H, P and B type of pencils are known as soft grade pencils. So, in the hard grade pencil, if we will increase the grade of the pencil from H to 2H, 2H to 3H, 3H to 4H, 4H to 5H, the pe pencil will become more lighter. That means we can say that 2H pencil is lighter than F pencil, 3H pencil is lighter than 2H pencil, 4H pencil is lighter than 3H pencil, and 9H pencil is the lightest pencil. Okay. So in the in drawing, if we will, if we want to draw light outlines, then we will use the H grade pencils okay and in the b type grade if you will increase the grade of the pencil from b to 2b 2b to 3b 3d to 4b the pencil will becomes more darker that means 2b pencil is darker than b pencil 3b pencil is darker than 2b pencil 4b pencil is darker than 3b pencil and 9b pencil is the darkest pencil okay but in engineering Mostly we are using the 2H and 4H pencils to draw the light and dark outline. That means if you want to draw dark outlines, we will use 2H pencils. And if you want to draw light outlines, we will use the 4H pencils. So 2H and 4H pencils are more preferable in engineering graphics. Now, next is eraser. So what is the application of eraser? So, all of you know that eraser is used to, to, to erase the errors occurred in the drawing. Okay. Next is scale. So, what is the use of this scale? What is the application of this scale? So, so scale is used to measure distance or to take linear measurements. For example, if you want to measure this line, what we have to do, we have to put the scale on the line like this, starting from 0, and we have to measure it from 0, that is 0, 
9 centimeter and 9 m so right now the length of this line is 99 m that means 9.9 centimeter now protector so what is the use of the protector protector is used to measure and to draw the angles so first of all let us discuss the nomenclature of the protector so this is the baseline this is the origin and here the degrees are indicated from 0 to 180 anti clockwise and 0 to 180 clockwise that means we can measure angles or we can draw angles in anti clockwise or clockwise direction for example if you want to measure this angle what we have to do we have to place the origin at this corner and we have to set the baseline on the horizontal baseline okay so we have to set the uh, protector over here at the origin at this corner and we have to measure this angle and we have to set the baseline on this line now we have to measure the angle if you want to measure the angle in the anti-clockwise manner we will use the anti-clockwise scale of the degree so 0 10 20 30 40 so right now the angle is 40 degree and if you want to measure this angle that means this outside angle then you have to measure it in the clockwise direction starting from 0 over here 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 120 120 130 and 140 so if you will if you want to draw the external angle that angle will be 140 degree now next is roller scale so what is the application of the roller scale so roller scale is used to draw horizontal vertical and inclined parallel lines for example if you want to draw a line parallel to this given line then what we have to do? So we have to take the roller scale, we have to set the roller scale on the line like this, and then after we have to roll the roller scale up to a required distance, and then after we have to draw our line. So now we can say that this line is parallel to this line. So roller scale is used to draw parallel lines. Now next is compass, or we can also say that rounder so what is the use of the rounder so rounder is used to draw circles and arc of the circle okay now next is circle master now what is the use of the circle master so circle master is also used to draw the circles which have smaller diameters which have diameters less than 3 centimeter or which have radius less than 1.5 centimeter so how can we draw a circle by using the circle master so we have to take the circle master we have to drag the pencil inside the required circle or uh, required diameter of the circle then we have to drag the pencil inside so we will get the circle so right now the diameter of this circle is 30 mm so radius is 1.5 mm. Next is set squares. Now here we have two types of set square. One is 30 degree, 60 degree set square, and other is 45 degree set square. So this set square is termed as the 30 degree, 60 degree set square. So this angle of this set square is 60 degree, and this angle is 30 degree, and the other set square is known as the 45 degree set square in which one angle is 90 degree and other two angles are of 45 degree so what are the application of the set square so set square are used to draw different angles in multiple of 15 degree so if we will use both the set square as shown in this figure then we can draw different angles in multiple of 15 degree like 15 30 45 60 75 90 105, 120, 135, 150, 165, 180 and many more multiple of 
15 degree. So next is French curves. So what are the use of the French curves? So French curves are used to draw smooth free form curves passing from the different points. So for example, if you want to draw a free hand curve or a curve passing through these points, one, two, three, four, then what will we do? We will take the French curves and we will set the points on the periphery of the curve okay and then after that we will draw the curve like this so if you want to draw a curve passing through different points we will use the French curves but generally in engineering graphics we are uh, trying the freehand curves now next is drawing board and drawing clips so what is the use of the drawing board? So whenever we are making drawing in drawing sheets of different size like A2 size, A3 size, okay, at that time in order to uh, avoid the wrapping of the sheet, we will uh, place the sheet on the drawing board and we will attach the sheet, uh, we will fix the sheet by using the drawing clips shown in this figure. So Whenever we are uh, making drawings in drawing sheets, at a time drawing board and drawing clips are required. So these are the applications of different drawing instruments used in engineering drawing. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lecture.